Hey guys, welcome back to my how to improve the videos for the likes of YouTube or other media platforms. Stay tuned. So, when I started this YouTube channel almost eight years ago, this one and another one, um, I didn't have the best hard with me, honest. I had this Galaxy S3 Mini, then I upgraded to a Galaxy S5, much better. And then, in recent years, I got a Galaxy S8 Plus. Now, as you've just noticed, all my camera devices have been smartphones. Generally because, one, most of the cameras in smartphones are pretty good. Two, you get a phone out of it. And three, you don't have to lug around a big, heavy camera. Now, when I first got to use an actual DSLR a few years ago in my London vlog, which you guys can check out up here, um, it's pretty mid. <laughs> the hell are you taking me, man? Huh? He's just walking across the road, like, what, what do you need? Oh, I'm having a look for something. I will use my friend's DSLR camera for the first time. Now, that camera was not really meant for video, it was more for photography. It's a good photo for photography, I'll put some images on screen that I took in that London trip a few years ago. Um, it is a great camera, the Nikon D3200, but for video, it's pretty subpar. There's no autofocus on the lens, which was kind of weird, uh, so I had to manual focus half the time. Which, for a person who's never used manual focus, is a bit of a pain. Nowadays, I can just use manual focus like this notes bar already. I could probably keep this in manual focus and, you know, keep it, stay in frame. But I'm going to keep it in point focusing here so it doesn't go out of focus. But I was really afraid of getting either a mirrorless camera or, you know, a DSLR camera because... I was afraid I wouldn't be able to use it to its full potential early on. Even though I come accustomed to stuff quickly and learn how stuff works, there are a few things um, that I overlook for, you know, I take advice from people online, but I take the advice a bit too literally, and for word to word, and that's not always the best case. When I got this phone, I probably shouldn't have got this phone. I paid 400 Oh, yeah, 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 I, took I paid £400 for this in 2015, so a year after it came out, the Galaxy S5, in its lovely band-aid colour. Now, the rear camera still performs great. When my S8 had its camera damaged, I used this a few times. The rear camera's fine, but the selfie camera, which is probably the most used camera someone will use on their phone, especially for big TikToks, it just doesn't hold up. Even back then, it didn't hold up. My issue was, I didn't have a light like I use now. This is what it would look like if my light was not. Now I use a light, which looks obviously a lot better. I'm using the one that usually blinds me because my phone is too far away. So as I was saying, I probably should have, instead of getting this phone, which, you know, perks on me because I spent a long time wondering if I wanted the- I wanted this when it got announced, this thing was amazing compared to my S3 Mini, like, I mean, look at it. So, I wanted this for a long time. Um, a lot of things I get that I've wanted for a long time, the feeling of the want kind of goes away, um, after a while. Which is, um, not fun, but, um, kind of bizarre. So, yeah. This camera still was phone. The camera on this phone still performs great. The rear, the selfie camera, not so much. If I had just bought this twenty-five pound LED light back then, um, my videos would look ten times better. Problem was, I was naive and stupid. Um, I will admit that now. It wasn't until um, when I got my Galaxy S8 Plus in twenty eighteen. Um, this was a much, despite the fact that I was, despite the fact that I was scammed on Amazon. Never again will I be buying a phone on Amazon. I'll be buying directly from the um, br like brand's website. Galaxy S8 Plus still performs great today. Um, I'll even perform some video shots right now. It 
So this won't be in sync with my voice and audio, but here we go. Here's the Galaxy SA Plus with my light on, by the way. As you can see, not too bad, not too shabby if I turn the light off. Even with the light off, you if you have a good microphone, you just want to use your phone as a you know video, but you have yourself a separate microphone, you should be fine. The envelope mic is not too bad, but people on TikTok say my mic, mic sounds trash, which I honestly don't understand. So, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, any smartphone from the last... Let's turn this light back on, this switch is kind of bugging. Any smartphone from the last... You know, I just noticed the white balance on the camera might be off. And one of the white balance was off, I had to set to auto like an idiot, as I'm saying. So, yeah, any smartphone in the last four years, four or five years, should hold up today in 2022. So, if you want to... Go ahead and buy yourself an old smartphone to make videos with. My advice though, if you're doing that, to people will think, oh, I could just buy an old smartphone and use it as is. No, there's a few upgrades you want to get yourself. One, you want to get yourself a good tripod. A tripod I can recommend is the U Lanzi tripods. Um, link to U Lanzi down below. They make a lot of gear. Um, tripods, um, phone mounts, camera mounts, they even have their own microphone. Um, Yulanzi seems to be the new kind of like your Chinese brand that makes camera gear, but they are sustainable. So for example, this light I use, which I just now turned off, and you know, I've managed to do that. This light I use is from Yulanzi, and as you can see, this is level 1, and it's really bright. Let me show you the newer one, or the more bigger one I've been using. This, so the one I'm using is the Yulanzi for, uh, VL49, and this is the VL200. Uh, this one... And I'll even demonstrate now, so they just turn, turn dish, dish thing off. And what's cool with this one, you can set the Kelvin on it. The other one has a fixed Kelvin of 5600, so daylight, daylight color, daylight color, uh, color, daylight temperature. So let me just set this to, and then boom. This right now is at 62%, but I can turn it down to... You know, 25, and that's what it looks. This looks a bit too warm, so let me just change it a bit. So I can change the temperature how I want. I can make the temperature more warm, or for the lighting, I can make this go up a bit higher here. So I look a bit natural in tone. So that is 8200 Kelvin. As you can see, not too bad, and that's at 15%, look at that, and I can go up higher, although I'd have to turn the ISO down, which I do like, because if I can turn the ISO down, it means I can have a more constant beam, and more portrayed lighting. I'm going to put this back up, though. Now, the one downside to this new light I have, um, it's a bit heavy on my camera, this is why I'm not using it at the moment. Um, I do want to get a more thicker tripod so this can hang off the side of it because that's the issue I've noticed uh, this thing's heavy um, it makes the camera wobble so that is the one issue I do have of it but overall it is a really good uh, LED light so let me just stick it yes you want to get yourself a smartphone with an LED light with a tripod and you know an external microphone I'm going to unplug my external microphone and use the camera's onboard audio tell me if you like it or if you don't like it. I am now using the Canon M50's onboard microphone versus Rode's Video Micro shotgun microphone. Now, the shotgun microphone would perform better if it was closer to me, which sadly I don't have it to. I actually might have something that can make it get closer to me. One way to improve. Oh shit. One way to improve it is to get yourself a longer cable, uh, and I have done that. I'm going to take it off the shoe mount here and usually I would attach it to something to the desk I'm gonna have to get like a, a mounting set but uh, we should be fine downsize wish I got an angled cable because this kind of gets in the way of the timer on the camera now this is the Vero video microphone a few inches away from me this probably sounds way better than it was super far away any microphone that's closer to you sounds better obviously not too close but this probably sounds, you know, way better. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get myself a little, basically, mounting arm. So I can mount it here. Basically, just a adapter thread for this. So I can basically attach it to the desk and use it on the desk, closer to me. 
uh, below me instead of on top of the camera where I can put my light. So that's what it sounds like from further away. So I've switched some things up a bit. I now have my bigger light on top of my camera, but it does make the camera wobble a little bit. And now I have the Rode Video Micro off to the right hand side of me, but still pointing towards me that still point towards me so you guys can hear me. This is how I would usually use it because the lighting is above me and this light doesn't blind me as much as this thing does. Um, this is still a great light, probably better for taking pro uh, photography like product shots, but it's blinding. And that's on level one. Um, level two, level, f oh, level three, level four, and level five. So it gets a bit excessive. That's why I, uh, I, I got a new one. It's still a great light. I still recommend this. And, um, it's still great. I'm surprised I've never done a little review on it. Maybe soon. Maybe it's on my computer somewhere, and I've just not noticed where it is. Um, but this light, this is amazing. And, um, you know, it's great. What's cool is, if I wanted to, I could have this on the top of my camera and then mount that on top of the ear. I've never tried that, actually. Oh, boy. This is so gnarly right now. Yeah, it's making my camera wobble like crazy, but... Hey, OP lighting, um, kind of unnecessary, it's, it is pretty unnecessary to be honest, and it makes the camera wobble like crazy. But yeah, by the way, if you're wondering how much this is, you can get these on Amazon for £25, and you can get the big ones on Amazon again for like £35. So honestly, you can get really, really good lighting for like a fraction of what, you know, all these big YouTubers recommend. It's like... Hey guys, here are the five budget lights I recommend. So the lowest one right now, you can get the cheapest option, is 300 pounds. And it's like, 300? I was expecting like 50 quid. So, you know, it's hardware is very subjective. You know, you can have people that get very expensive stuff, really cheap stuff. But honestly, you can get, you know, moderate stuff that is priced correctly, either be cheap or expensive, that could do the job. So... I recommend getting an old, you know, smartphone. That could be your choice of a Samsung smartphone or an old, 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 old iPhone, whatever you like. Or, you know, uh, the, I think, don't go too far with iPhones because the quality does change. I think anything older than an iPhone 10, which came out in 2018, um, I think the iPhone 7 still holds up. Anything before the iPhone 7 or maybe iPhone 10, it can hold up, but not as good as, you know, the newer iPhones. The new iPhones, you know, hardware-wise are amazing. I just don't like iOS, which is a bummer. Maybe one day, I'm not sure. Uh, Samsung, any Samsung devices nowadays are really, really good. The new, you know, the Galaxy S lineup is always great. Um, the Pixel cameras are really good as well, if you're really interested in those. You can go for those, all the Pixel phones. Uh, Sony, Sony, you know, they make smartphones. Maybe not as popular, but their cameras um, are still unique and interesting. So, I recommend that on the smartphone side. For cameras like, you know, pro mirrorless or DSLRs, I say anything that could shoot 1080p 60 or 1080p 30, um, you know, anything in the last, I mean, hell. Wow, that is really old video. Um, the Canon 60D was a really, really good camera. Um, if you go on YouTube, there are loads of videos talking about the Canon 60D if it's good in 2021 or 2022. Um, the Canon 70D is a really, really good camera as well. Or even old Nikon cameras. If you go to, if I go back on here real quick, if you go to this video, like I told you, the London video, uh, that was shot on a combination of my Galaxy S5 and the Nikon, uh, what was it, D3200. Sorry, I don't know why I'm keeping it. I'm just trying not to. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's a really There What does it take to get one to break guard? Is it look too impossible like this? Hmm? I've always been told you can't break a, a guard like, like. Oh, we do that, don't we? On, on all of guards. Um, what do I prefer? Honestly, I'm not sure. The D3200 is not a camera for video, and it was a bit, um, bit annoying and hard to learn. I'm not sure what I prefer, to be honest. 
I'm actually going to try and look at some shots. The first opening shot um, from here is in the dark. Let's see, where do I get shots where I'm using the actual camera? I think it is. And honestly, it looks like smartphone quality. Like, it doesn't look like it was shot on a DSLR camera at all. At all. Which is um, quite bizarre. So yeah, maybe don't go too far back, like 10 years, maybe go back 5 years, and um, you know, you generally should be fine. So yeah, that's going to be my part 4. Quality, hardware, you know, does it matter? It matters to a degree, but um, don't get the most expensive thing you can, and don't go too low and cheap, because it just won't look good. Um, if you're more, also this has been more on the hardware and video kind of things, um, I did touch up I did touch up on the, uh, what was it, how to improve, like, your videos, um, audio and lighting in the first part, which you can go check that out. I'm gonna have a playlist here for you guys who can click on the screen. Go watch the three original videos. Um, the first one, how to improve videos, uh, audio and lighting, and the next one is video quality, and then the third one is talking tips, um, and stuff. This one is hardware. You're probably thinking, oh, that could be in part two. I think a part of it is, but not all of it is. Also in that video, I think I set up how to... I also did a how to set up your camera to your computer type video. So there you go. Hardware, is it important? Yes, to a degree. But, just don't go too cheap and don't go too expensive. It should be fine. If I find any interesting deals I think look good, check out down below. Or just go on eBay, look up, you know, a camera, just go on YouTube. Go onto your fa- it is a good idea. Go to your favorite YouTubers you used to watch like five years ago, six years ago. Go into the description. They usually have what camera hardware they use. They probably use- they probably have listed what camera hardware they use. Go in there, check out what they use, and go on eBay, see if you can find it for like, you know, half a price, or, you know, a quarter of the price, and, you know, shit like that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and my hair- I'm going to get a haircut soon, because my hair looks like- uh, it looks like someone has it whacked the weed, if you catch my drift. Um, stay tuned, because I will be releasing more shorts, um, as they are, you know, on YouTube I can do shorts, it's just trying to do TikToks on TikTok. I don't know, people just seem to comment shit and not understand the video. At least with YouTube, I just have to deal with edgy, pe edgy tech people. Where TikTok, I have to deal with edgy boomers, which, <laughs> that, just, that just doesn't slide. If you're a boomer and you're offended by that joke, I, I think you need to let loose a little bit. JK, you're fine. Either way, like I said, check out that playlist and um, check out this latest vlog um, where my Canadian friend comes to Cardiff. Pretty cool. Speaking of Canadian friend, ah, that reminds me. I recorded a video with him, which I didn't, I forgot was on my computer. It's gonna be edited, it's gonna come out when, it might already be out, who knows. Don't care anymore. But, um, yeah, stay tuned. By the way, links to that and the other lights and a bike in the description. Either way, catch you guys later.